Hello and welcome to TV Middletown Cafe. I'm your host, Ty Thomas. We're on location today at the Land of Illusion Scream Park in Middletown, Ohio on Thomas Road. Joining me is Brad Oakley. Yep. You are the founder and creator. I'm the one that runs the nightmare. You're the one that <laughs> runs the nightmare. We are in the Temple of Terror. Yes, sir. And if, uh, you probably hear some noise going on in the background. There is a waterfall behind us. Before we talk about the Temple of Terror, though, Let's talk about the Land of Illusion. What brought it about? You know, uh, it's funny, uh, we've actually been open, uh, this is our uh, 13th year. I uh, actually started it out in the very beginning. Uh, I was a volunteer fireman, uh, lived at uh, 7747 Myers Road, mm -hmm. and uh, created it strictly for a fundraiser for the fire department um, 13 years ago. So it's. Uh, we, that's kind of a unique number right now, isn't it? 13? Yeah, it's yeah. sort of our lucky number this yeah. year. That's what we're calling it. Uh, a lot of the people that are coming out are saying, hey, this is our 13th year. Um, it, it was interesting because after we wore the fire department out, because uh, everybody was parking for the proceeds and uh, you know trying to get as much as we could to help that, um, Madison Township finally put a fire levy on that, that helped a lot of the fire department mm -hmm. and stuff. So then uh, now we took some other uh, organizations and uh, we're trying to help some other different uh, fundraisers throughout the uh, the year here. Now we're at, at an attraction called the Temple of Terror. Yes, sir. We are on a swinging bridge. Tell me about the Temple of Terror. Well, if you fall off this swinging bridge, number one, tie, I'm not responsible because there's alligators underneath this bridge. Okay? There are too. I've seen them. So don't hold me responsible <laughs> for that. Uh, Temple of Terror is a, a cave-like maze. Uh, we created to give it a little bit more of a jungle atmosphere. Um, What's really interesting about each event in the Land of Illusion is we're trying to create something different when people come out and create themes with each one of these uh, to actually scream and scare people to death. So what type of, of scary things will we find? Or should we just say, just come on out and find out for yourself? You know, I can tell you a little bit. There's some things out here from the claustrophobic areas to uh, shaking floors to waterfalls, swinging bridges. Uh, I don't want to tell you too much, Ty, because uh, you've been scared just working out here for a little bit. So That's true. Now you've got to come through here. Well, when you come in, you get it. You, you buy your ticket. You come in. You park in the parking lot, which I believe is in the front of this building. Th that's exactly right. I think right. it's that way. Yep. And then, where does your tour begin, or can it begin anywhere? It can begin anywhere. Basically, we went to a park price now, so when you come in, you get to enjoy all the events all night. Uh, we've actually got six events here now. Uh, the Temple of Terror is uh, one of the large indoor events. Uh, then we've got Dr. Psycho's Haunted Estate is uh, another one of the events. Now, what, what is that? Dr. Psycho's, uh, this was a house that was built uh, back in the uh, early 1800s. Um, really a pretty unique atmosphere. Uh, we do have spirits in there, so they are alive. Uh, so when they come out, you will have an eerie feeling walking through this thing, uh, along with uh, a little bit of fun in the beginning, but a very serious haunt as you get involved. So if you don't want to be scared, that's one there that uh, uh, you better strap on. We tried to make it where everything is in w within proximity of each other. Everything's got paths. Now we have a park map. So it, it makes it easy to maneuver and get around uh, at night. We've got a, a, a huge bonfire. We've got refreshment stands. 
the gift shop. So at night, I always said the land of illusion comes alive. You can stop by Club Zombie, which is a, a stage where we do a lot of different things. We have nightly entertainment uh, on the stage. Tomorrow night, you got a big event here. On, yep, on we that got stage. Cupid Shuffle coming in tomorrow night. We're actually uh, uh, thought we'd get crazy, try to break a world record on the largest group of, of people ever doing the Cupid Shuffle. So we're into a whole different category with this, and uh, it's fun for the kids uh, and the senior citizens. We've got a lot of people now coming out. Uh, Why did you look at me when you said senior citizen? You know, Ty, I'll tell you what, I'm 48, I know you're at least 50, so you're older <laughs> well, than I'm me, so 50. you're a senior citizen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brett, we can wrap this up now, we're done. I'm just kidding. Okay, tell me about the Haunted Trail. Middletown Haunted Trail is actually what the event started about. Mm -hmm. um, 13 years ago, that event is the one that we originally started with on Myers Road. Uh, it's about nine-tenths of a mile long. It is a premier event at the Land of Illusion. Um, we keep adding other events, trying to pull attention away from the trail, and we're finally starting to get people to understand we are a part, not just one event. But when you go to a, say, a, a Disney World or you go to Kings Island, there are, are certain rides that you cannot get on because you don't meet a height requirement or you don't meet an age requirement. Is there anything out here like that, or it's open for everybody? Well, it's open for everybody. The biggest thing is it depends on the, the age you are and, and what your scare factor is. Mm -hmm. uh, we're trying to create a family atmosphere for people. We've uh, this year put the Field of Screams in, which is a, a haunted event, but non-scary. It's strictly designed for kids to come out, get introduced to the campfire, hang out, see people in a non-scary area, and gradually work their way into these things. because. A lot of kids want to come out, but they're all scared. So we're trying to sort of give them how they can step up. So if they actually come out, go through the field of screams, there's no actors, no monsters in it. It allows them to just hang out and be with the atmosphere. And then when they get brave enough, they can start doing one event at a time. There you go. I, uh, I, I, look, I looked at your website over the last couple of days and looked at the videos that have been on there. And somewhere there was like a, a guy, a headless horseman on a horse. Now to me, it looked like a real horse. Yeah, now, where is that, or, or is that still out here? No, it's out here. It's okay. actually back on the Middletown Haunted Trail. Okay. Uh, that's one of our scenes back down at Cherry Hill. Cherry Hill is, uh, we built a, a, a pond back there with a, a covered bridge going over top of it and a headless horseman. So it creates a pretty unique atmosphere. Um, it is one of the, uh, the premier scenes of, as far as atmospheres people love. We get the fog holding uh, the right atmosphere. Uh, it'll put chills up your spine if you don't know about it. Well, I tell you what, your, your spatial effects from what, from what I saw on the website are very well done. Very well done. I tell you, when I first got into this business, I thought, oh, this is going to be easy. Uh, now I understand a lot more about Walt Disney World um, and why some of these places are so expensive to do. Because entertainment, when people come through the door, they expect a different level. Uh, the thing we're really shooting for is, you know, we're top 10 in the United States um, shooting for top position. And, and that's, a tough, that's a tough role to play uh, when you become this big for nine weeks event. It's nine weeks beginning when? Labor Day weekend is when we open. Labor Day weekend and yep. you're open on Friday, Saturdays and Sundays? Friday and Saturday night through the month of September, uh -huh. Friday, Saturday, Sunday through the month of October. And wh wh when is your last day? Uh, it's November 30th uh, this year. So it, it's or right, October 30th. October I'm sorry. Th Halloween. Yeah. It, it approaches Halloween time. Yeah, Halloween I think is the 31st this year. So we're, we stop on the Sunday night. We've got so many actors and so many people, and it takes so much just to ramp the park up. Do you do anything when, when you're open on Halloween? Is there anything special for Halloween, or is it still the great land of illusion? Park. Yeah, you know, what's always interesting is sometimes we have smaller kids come in, so we try to bring the notch down if people do bring uh, smaller kids in. Uh, but as always, the Land of Illusion is a haunted screen park, so each event we've got different skull rating, and depending on what that is, we expect that skull rating out of our actors every night. From my notes, I can't remember the first, something Bayou. There's the Voodoo Bayou Shanty. Voodoo Bayou, okay. Yeah. This is a new event. Um, last year we had a couple people um, that, that disappeared and we couldn't figure out what had happened. And um, we found them, but we found them underneath the ground. And it was a pretty interesting situation here. 
So the voodoo, Bayou County, that area, we never could figure out really what happened to these people. But we had investigators come in and, and go through the whole thing. And so we had to create this whole area. And now it's, it's become a very primitive area that, that when you do enter, I mean, we're really not responsible for you from the time you enter to the time you come out. Do you ever make people sign waivers? <laughs> All of them. Oh. <laughs> Have we been... There, there are six attractions out here. Have, yep. we, have we done all six? Nope, not I yet. So. I tell you okay. what, everybody favors the killer clowns. Oh, yeah, the 3D killer clowns. Yes, most yes. most people, their parents took them to the circus when they were little. Absolutely. So for some reason, other kids seem to have a fear of clowns. 3D killer clowns was designed to help people get over their fears, face their fears. You know, it's uh, depending on if you don't have that, it's the neatest event. It's a 3D paint. Uh, it's, it's really a unique uh, 3D clear, the, the way the whole scene is set up is very amazing. Wow. So we had uh, three artists come in and uh, painted for three months and, and they did reverse painting to make everything 3D. So you do wear glasses when you go through this. Really? Yeah. And uh, it's, it's really a very, something totally different from all the other events. If you've never been out here, that's a must. Uh, you know, if you come out to the park, you're basically looking at uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of three to five hours, depending on, uh, you know, what time it is and, and what time of year. But Friday nights are normally not quite as busy, uh, but Saturday nights, the crowd's here. It's, it's really exciting. Uh, seems like we've got a lot going on in the park, and, and uh, that's when the heat gets turned yeah, up. I, I was reading on, on your website that if you want to try to see every event at the park, Friday night's the best night to do it. It is until October, and then it, it gets to where it's uh, it's just a fun time. Everybody gets cranked up. Everybody gets in a Halloween mood. Mm -hmm. You were telling me when we were doing a pre-interview that, that you began with, uh, with the Haunted Trail on Myers Road. Now you have six attractions here. Are you going to have something new Are you for next year or the year after? Well, we've been trying to add the last three years, add an event a year. Um, right now, we're actually working on better scenery and, and uh, really trying to tweak that side of it. We're also trying to uh, take a look at bringing concerts out here and some other things throughout the year. Uh, we are focused somewhat on uh, possibly bringing a Christian concert event in uh, for three days. So we're actually trying to create how do we get six months out of the land of illusion. Uh, seems like our taxes continue to go up and uh, we've got a responsibility to try to to dig in and, and uh, you know help the community, and that's what we're here to do. Now you, you were talking about the scenery. We are we're in the Temple of Terror. Yep. We're standing on a swinging bridge over water. Yep. Behind us, he just tried to. We're trying to knock him he off. Trying to knock me off so I can <laughs> swim home. It's a nice waterfall, but what they probably I don't know how much they can see. We have uh, foliage all around us. There's a little guy with a blow gun that I actually walked into when I first came in here. <laughs> you know, an, an alligator. There's snakes there's in here. There's snakes. There's a little bit of everything. There is a little bit of everything. Yeah, what's neat about each event, we try to take each scene and we're trying to create different animations, different things to where people that don't get scared, they've got things to just look at. And um, I think that's one thing that's, uh, you know, that we constantly keep working on. How do we make it show business, not just all about getting scared, but things for people that don't get scared to hang out, look at. We've got a lot of spinning tunnels, um, oh. which is animation uh -huh. that actually uh, play with more of the Virgo. And the Killer Clowns will actually, actually have a new event up there, it's a disappearing tunnel. So it's, it's interesting, different things, different scenes with each event. Somebody wants to find out more, they're, they're watching this right now, saying, man, I, I, I gotta find out more about this. How do they do it? You know, they can go to thelandofillusion.com is, is one way to understand it. Um, we're, we're really working on the website. We've had uh, some people join us on the website. They've done a fantastic job this year. But there's no way to, to explain to people what the Land of Illusion is. Mm -hmm. If they don't come out, they'll never understand it. It's kind of like skydiving. You go, if you want to find out what skydiving is about, jump out of an airplane. You yes, know? that's exactly so. right. You know, we have a lot of people just come out. They'll go through one event, hang out all night if they're too scared. Uh, the Field of Screams, which is a new corn maze, I think is starting to attract a lot more families this year. So this is going to be, a, I think, a hot item just for the younger kids to come out and start. They want, they want to come, but they're too scared to go through the event. I understand. So we're, we're trying to really work on that with the parents, and uh, that's why we put that out here. 
We had a lot of requests for it. How can we bring our kids out and not get them scared? So that's where we're trying to go with it. Have I missed anything? No, I tell you, the only thing that you have missed is uh, here at the Land of Illusion, we put a new event in called Blast Zone Paintball. Oh, yes, we passed that as we came in here. Yep, absolutely. Uh, so my son and another gentleman, uh, Derek Beckett, have, have stepped up, and they're actually working on trying to get uh, people into this. Uh, so if you've never played paintball, it's a, it's a neat team-building experience that we brought for corporate events, church events. Um, we're tr really trying to wrap this thing around the community for more of a team-building exercise. I know a, a lot of corporations do that with paintball. Yeah. You know, where you'll form a, a combat team, you know, or I, I know them as fire teams, being a Marine, you know, and you go at it. But you, you do learn teamwork and, and looking out for others. Yep, it was, it was interesting. We had a call yesterday, came in from Carlisle Police Department, uh, wanting to come over and, and bring their canine uh, dogs and stuff and do some things in here after the event's closed. And then they're going to go up and, uh, after training, then go in and play a paintball scenario. So, you know, it's, it's what's good team building, it's good exercises for uh, police officers and stuff. Because it's a good we, stress relief, too. Yeah. We put them in here. Yeah. We're going <laughs> to test these dogs. I bet. Brett, thank you so much for having us out here today. No, thank you. Appreciate everybody coming oh, out. I've enjoyed this. I've walked around a little bit. We have really, really liked this. <laughs> and I just had a heart attack. So, I'm Ty Thomas. Thanks for watching TV Middletown Cafe. Have a great and scary day. If you'd like to purchase a DVD of this program for $20, plus $5 shipping and handling, call 513-727-3000 or watch online at tvmiddletown.blip.tv.